Across more than five decades, Aretha Franklin's voice belted out songs of change and joy and pain. Now that instantly recognizable voice has gone silent. CBS's Kenneth Craig shows us how countless tributes poured in honoring the undisputed Queen of Soul from fans to fellow singers. When Rolling Stone magazine named Aretha Franklin the greatest singer of all time, they called her a gift from God, the reason why women want to sing. Shampoo. On Twitter, the tributes to the Queen of Soul poured in from fans to fellow legends, including Carole King, Diana Ross, and Barbara Streisand, who wrote, It's difficult to conceive of a world without her. John Legend called her the greatest vocalist I've ever known. And Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote, we will be listening to you forever. President Trump offered his condolences from the White House. She's brought joy to millions of lives and her extraordinary legacy will thrive and inspire many generations to come. She gave a powerful performance at President Barack Obama's inauguration. He said in a statement with Michelle Obama, Aretha helped define the American experience in her voice we could feel our history. It was those social anthems that Rolling Stone contributing editor Joe Levy says helped make her a cultural phenomenon. She is a vital force whose influence will be felt forever. Outside the Apollo Theater in Harlem, fans honored her. She's our queen. I want to say the queen of soul, but I'm just going to say our queen. On the Hollywood Walk of Fame, fans left flowers at Aretha's star, a tribute to a superstar whose voice will live forever. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Kenneth Craig, CBS News. NASA named an asteroid to honor Aretha Franklin in 2014. Today, the agency confirmed that asteroid is still orbiting.